it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Three, two, three. Two. This is how we get on three already. Cause they did back to back episodes. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy Dodge, and it's the Bill, and it's time for some shenanigans. Shenanigans. y'all welcome welcome back to shenanigans y'all thank y'all for being here Woo! shenanigans we back y'all for rupaul's drag race season 15, 15 episode, episode number three, three y'all we here we three i think you know y'all know how like the first episode is like one of those double episodes so i guess that was like one to two so we on three now y'all we moving up in the competition i think they should have if, if that's the case they should have sent two people home <laughs> we episode three. <laughs> right. But yes, thank y'all for being here. You know what I'm saying? We so glad that y'all watched our last review. We saw the comments. We appreciate all the love that y'all was putting the out there. Was and, uh, great. Yes, 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 yes. And um, yeah, just keep sharing y'all and um keep loving on us. We appreciate that. Keep watching. Yeah, but keep um, liking and subscribing. Check please. Us out. Do it. Goodness. Do all of that. All of that. All of that. We love that energy, that action. So the show starts with the queen's coming back into the workroom. Talk talking shit. mad shit. Y'all know how they They're do. They're talking mad shit. Okay, they hyped up. They ready they to go. They just sent Irene Dubois from Seattle home. She from Seattle, right? I think, yeah. She from Seattle. It was raining, y'all. It was time. It was her time. She, it, I guess it was her she time. Got she, was talking, back. she was talking <laughs> mad shit. She was. I, I ain't gonna lie. I did not expect her to leave as soon as she left. Well, especially when she came walking into the workroom and talking all this like heavy, heavy shit like She's talking about girls. Especially from the second girl. When the second girl came in she just started attacking. So I knew from there I was like, yeah, mmm. We ain't gonna see too much of her. But, you I know, you made this show. That's good. You know, that's good enough, I guess. She gonna, we'll see her sometime. We'll sometime her. through we gonna, through. We're gonna see how I ran. We're gonna see how I ran. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, who sent her home? Amethyst sent her home. Sent her home. Amethyst sent her out of here. Uh, Irene left a message. She said she pooped in somebody's box. It probably was Amethyst's box. She was bitter. It's a little bitter. Yeah, message. a little, little commie, a little bitterness. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Yeah. And then, so after the, when, while the girls in the workroom, after them talking about, you know, Amethyst and all that. Amethyst and um Robin. Robin, that's what it is. I wanna call her Jada so bad. Like I think she kinda looks like Jada. Not Jada, it's Cause Robin. Cause I did that last week and I was like, J Robin. <laughs> but anyways, Jada and uh, Amethyst. I mean Robin and Amethyst had a little thing going on. They had a little thing. What little... you think about that? Well, whatever the little thing Flame was, it didn't work out. They, I guess they're better as friends. Uh, Robin said First of all, I'm Emma gagging about calling. that. Because I just can't She's see She's a bad texter. You know? <laughs> I just can't see those two. It's like... People find love in all type of places. It's like it up about and down. It ain't about what you see. That's true. That it's is about true. What they see. That is so true. But and clearly, I guess it's what about what I see because it ain't work out. <laughs> you know, Emma just tapped out and stopped calling. Hey. Who right. do you think? You think Amethyst top um, Robin? Oh, I don't. You never know. I don't know. Mm. Robin, you let this girl climb your back, girl. Like, really? That's how we doing? No, nah, just man. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no shaming over here, y'all. You know, you like what you like. You feel me? But anyway, so after the girls do all that, you know. Lucy DeLuca. Lucy DeLuca. She said she felt some type of way about being put in the bottom. She said I most definitely was not the worst. <laughs> she said so I was a little pitchy. So what? Look at the outfit. Look at the pattern. Was she crying on the runway? When the judge was like kind of critiquing her, she started busting out crying. But then now she talking all this big shit. The big shit popping, little shit shopping. Bitch, why you wasn't talking that shit to RuPaul now? She wait till she come back after. She want revenge. She want to let them know that y'all made a wrong decision. She going to show y'all that she meant to be in this competition. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. She wasn't lying though. Like, baby got body out of out Like, her proportions are just nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty. You she know, is. but, you know, we're going to see more of Lucy. But anyway, so yeah, so after that, you know what I'm saying? Queen D drag, they go back to the hotel. Boom, Next boom. day, they come back in. <laughs> RuPaul enters the workroom, <laughs> let them know. We're about to have a mini maxi. Mini Maxi Maxi Mini. Mini Maxi Maxi. Mini, we mini. going straight to the damn Maxi Challenge. So, y'all. Boom. It's, so it's gonna be a infomercial on a afterlife. Afterlife. Or a a, a queer life. Yeah, queer kinda afterlife. all queens go to heaven. So it's very much like a you know, going to heaven. It's like a heaven type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a very tough cheat, like, you know, subject. Cause you know a lot of people are very religious out here. And um, I don't think it's touchy. You just gotta make it funny, an infomercial. You, know. you gotta, you gotta sell your version of heaven. You do to an audience. I don't see anything offensive about that. I mean, you know, some people that you know. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't think it's offensive, but you know, some people out there may be like, "Why they playing with God? These gay people, these gay people. You know what I'm saying? They going to hell anyway." Da 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 da. You know, they already got some shit to say about the gay, so. I don't know. Yeah, I do. You know, they be outside of the gay clubs and they pick and fence, bitch. Like, y'all going to hell. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is watching. What think, are you saying about I don't that? think those people will be watching the show. So, we don't got to worry Well, they that. see some of the drag queens because them, them same people are the ones protesting, like, drag queens, like, not going to, like, you know, they schools. Gonna be, they going to be watching the Being around the children. Because they most definitely not going to be watching them. That's how they feel. The episode, RuPaul is worldwide, baby. It goes, right, so clips going to be seen everywhere. Okay, clips will be saying and they, if they choose to look <laughs> at them clips and they choose to be offended, that's on them. Okay, there you go. And that's on y'all. But anyway, so yeah, so yeah, the Maxi Challenge, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> so, they had the breakup uh, since Amethyst was the loser and Anisha was the winner. They both had to pick the teams yeah. for uh, the competition. So they're breaking up to, to three teams, right? Well, they picked, Amethyst picked, well, Anitra picked first, then Amethyst picked, and then whoever was left over, that's <laughs> broken up into a third team. Okay. So, three teams. Yeah, there you go. Um, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the, the way that they left those girls just hanging like that, like, that wasn't fair, you know what I'm saying? They left a couple of the big girls, you know what I'm saying? They left a couple of, you know what I'm saying, the outer people, and I didn't think that was fair. They ain't see it for them ladies. I didn't think that was fair. Like, y'all left my bitch Sugar up over there, they left my bitch, bitch mistress up over there. Mistress will eat all y'all up, but y'all left sis up over there. But it's cool though, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna see how this gonna go, you know? So group one, <laughs> nature pick, Sasha Kobe, great great pick. Easily. She picked S titties. <laughs> Loud mouth, you know what I'm she, saying? With Selena on the team. Great, great personality. Yeah, I will say. She picked London Lux. She picked Marsha, 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 and their thing was like an afterlife, after party yeah. type of situation. Uh -huh. Group two, Amethyst, she picked Aurora, Lucy the Lucas, <laughs> Twin Spice. Then she just checked Amethyst about her name. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> Poppy, I say poopy poison. Poopy, okay. It seemed like it. Poopy, poppy, same thing, shit. And then group three is gonna be a uh, Team Jax, I guess. Mistress. <laughs> Why you laugh at Jax like that? <laughs> I didn't. Who's wrong with Jax? <laughs> Y'all gonna get off of Jax, not that. <laughs> I said Team Jax. Y'all gonna leave my sister Jax. <laughs> we just having a debate over here about I Jax. I didn't laugh at Jax. Jax, Jax, my bitch. I'm, I'm room for Jax, y'all. I'm room for you, sis. She's got nice dance moves, nice flips. <laughs> Beautiful gowns. Malaysia. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> you got wow. beautiful gals, right? And they had a <laughs> their thing was like a he drag shade, a drag hag hagatory. Yeah. Y'all know what hags is, you know, you know. How the girls come with the gays, you know. Your hag, you know, hag. Something of that nature. So yeah. yeah. So isn't that kind of offensive though? Like I feel like this this can be a little offensive to some people. What's offensive? 
like saying hag because I one you time offended by this whole no 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 I no no I'm not listen I, <laughs> so literally I had a friend that I was like you know you my hag or whatever and she got offended by me saying that I'm like no it's just like a term of endearment like you my girl bitch you my home Maybe girl like see her ooh, ooh, ooh. Meant, uh, I think her so ugly. and so I had to kind of like explain it to her but when I was just saying. You my hag. She was like, bitch, I ain't no hag. We well, gotta throw, the, <laughs> you throw the, the F word in front of it. I didn't because I don't really like to reuse that word like that. Then maybe she don't want to hear that word like that. Be called a hag. Well, she can't be hanging with me. She don't want to hear it. It's like. <laughs> 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 so anyway, so they break up into their groups and stuff. And, you know, they go off and start rehearsing and. You know, going over their lines and who gonna do what, what gonna do who. And then antics ensue. So in the workroom, <laughs> so um, nice. Malaysia and Mistress, they were talking about, you know, family and religion. Malaysia said that she didn't feel it was fair to grow up in a church that mm. won't accept her sexuality. And it, it made her family, I believe, push her away to some extent or made her feel uncomfortable around her family or comfortable in church. Something along them lines with religion and sexuality and I guess it was like hateful in some aspects yeah. for, and for her. It was really um, emotional. She started crying or whatever. Then Mr. kind of chimed in and said, uh, that her mother, you know, didn't want to have a gay son or whatever, and she found her drag and put the drag on the table and confronted her about it, like, what's going on with this? Why are you wearing these ladies shits or whatever? And then mistress was like, well, after that, you know, it's time for me to get up out of the house because I'm about to be- <laughs> She said she was 17. I'm not about to be bullied by my family because I already hear enough of this shit on the streets. Yeah. And, you know, I agree. Don't buy got time for that. So, rightfully so, she got up out of there and she used drag as a way to support yes, herself. And she's been doing that ever since. And that's why Mistress is a real drag queen. And she about to show you <laughs> on this competition. That's what real like. I ain't gonna it like that. But I can like I can definitely relate to Malaysia's story for sure because I grew up in church and stuff. Now they didn't necessarily like pinpoint people like you, 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 or whatever, but they definitely had topics in church where they talked about like homosexuality and like, which I'm in the front row in the choir, so I'm like, which I wish you would look up here. I wish you would, like look at the pastor. But the pastor like, you know, he kind of, he loved us. Like it was a love relationship with like everybody, especially like if you, like was a deacon, usher in the choir, he loved you. So whatever the case would be, he never really so like- a hypocrite. Pretty much, yeah. He just, I guess he may have felt he needed to preach on that topic for the people out in the congregation, but you know, he ain't never do no shit like that with right. us. But you know, I grew up with that. I never really like was pressured like how she did, but I do relate to the whole growing up in the church and the whole gay thing, you know. We didn't have church coming up, y'all. <laughs> we didn't have church. Man, had no need to worry about that this way for me. Okay. So yeah. after that, the um, yeah, the queens get done. They get their crowds out, they hood, and they do their thing. So y'all already know what time it is. It's time to run away, run away, run away. It's time for the runways, y'all. RuPaul is coming out. So RuPaul is walking out in an old nasty classic. A nice you, gold number. Looking like, like an Oscar. Oscar. Looking like an Oscar. Okay, okay, nasty. It. It's, na it's nasty. Nice Coke bottle frame. Nice okay. makeup. She had a nice mug when she was walking down the thing. Yes. Like, like, I'm about this business. I'm about to do it big. Yeah. With the hot pink nails top. <laughs> Top, look at Top. It. Love it, great look. Yes. So the category of this runway is Metallica. That's interesting. I don't think we ever. Me Metallica. We did anything like that. So y'all know they're going to be wearing Metallica, not to be uh, confused with the rock band. <laughs> so first up coming out, we have Anitra. So Anitra, she still got a cape on and a okay. nice suit type of number. Nice makeup, nice wig, nice wall. I ain't feeling this makeup. Nice heel. I like it. I like the outfit. It's giving me superhero, but the makeup was a little off. It's an edgy makeup. But I'm a top. It's a top. It's a top. I, I'm fucking with Next it. Next up, baby, we got Sasha Kobe. Come on, baby. Yes. 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 What is this she's giving us? It's giving us like a, a, me silver, a silver phoenix. Like, you know what I'm saying? Silver bird. Silver. Yes. Walk. Puss. 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 Yes. 
Give it to us, Sasha. Top. It looks amazing to me. It looked like a, one of those silver like cockatoo, um, a silver something. It, you know what it remind me of? And, and the way she walking her movements is like bird like. It's like you know when they go to that festival. Um, oh, carnival. Carnival, like but in silver. That's what it's giving. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's selling the little numbers. She is. She's giving you cakes and all. Cakes and all. Ass. Next up, we got Selena Estetes. So they tell you like, I'm street, so I'm gonna <laughs> wear some street signs. signs with a, what with, is this, a lamp, a lamp on her head? Post on her head. It's a chop for me. A little too literal for me. Yeah. Um, But it's campy, it's not too, let me see it one more time. It ain't campy enough for me, like, let me see this shit one more time. It ain't campy enough for me. It's too like literal, you know? Give me body. I can't see it with all these damn chains <laughs> in the way. Shit. <laughs> but she give you hair too, but I couldn't see the shit. This is like a damn bob. She give me some type of head. Uh, this is a chop, girl. Chain link. Uh -uh, head. This is a chop. Why you come down this runway with this on? Um, I don't her makeup is sickening. You I will give you that. Yeah. S titties. Chop. What you gonna do with it? S titties. What is you gonna do with it? Come on, you know how you feel about it. Don't come back. You're gonna see it the next day. Like, oh, I wish I was <laughs> such and such. So come on. I'm gonna. Don't be generous. I'll chop it. Are you chopping it? Okay, I knew you felt it in your soul. <laughs> I don't know. I might like it a little bit. Maybe that's a soft topic. He gonna soft top it. S titties. <laughs> Next up, we got Lux Noir London. Top. It's nasty. I don't gotta think about Looking it. Looking like a little baby Simone, bitch. Yes. Oh, she look amazing. She got a nice train. Yes. Going, nice flowy gown, nice movements. The hair is sickening. Oh, like, yeah, the wig. The, hair. the wig is on fire. Nice makeup. and You look good, sister. This, this great movement. You look good, great sister. Great motion. Uh, motion. Uh, yeah. It's, it's quite quite stunning. Quite quite stunning. Bitch, next time you see how like Simone and like the black girls, you know, they give you like they natural legs, shiny legs. So that's what I need you to do to like your arms to match your legs, bitch. Yes, I need that shit to be just popping and shining. What is the cut on her leg? Oh, is it? What if it is? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it you it's nasty top. Next up, we got Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So. I don't know, Marsha, she's a pretty face. She put makeup on her at the tip of her nose. Mm. Um, still the, still the, what is it? The Tin Man. Like, I'm not getting Tin Man from this at all. She said she made this by hand. She painted this, she sewed it, she glued it, whatever. Um, I think her face is pretty. Yeah, her face is very pretty, but where's the makeup? You're supposed to be tin, girl. Like, you, you should have painted it silver, like. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Drag is a lot of work. <clears throat> and she ain't giving me that, so therefore I'm gonna chop you, girl. Cause you have asked this. Top. Okay. Next up, we got, yes, Amethyst. Hey, sis, it's Amethyst, yes. Come on, bitch, I ain't think you can do it like this, but this is everything. The hair is on, the cape is on, the little outfit. What is this, a little dress? The makeup real nice. <laughs> Bitch, I don't like the boots though, but this is cute. Like, yes. Yes. Still ain't pattern, but. <laughs> okay, at cute. all. Oh. Yeah, she trying to give me Beyonce 2017 Grammys, bitch. I see you with the hair and the, the homage to the crown. I see it. Top. Top. Next up, we got Poppy Seed. So, her face is cute, the hair is nice and big, but the outfit kind of plain. It's plain simple. Jane. Princess <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> it's like, it's like something, it's some stuff missing, y'all. She ain't got missing. no jewelry on, like she ain't got nothing around her it's neck, she ain't wrong. got no bangles on, bitch, your legs is just bare, like you could at least give me a, a boot, like it's something missing, I don't know. It's chop. Chop. And then she gave me robot. She's a beautiful girl though, she is. Mm -hmm. Next up, we, we have Spice. It's a top. It is a top, looking like a little, Oh, you remember them little dogs? The little turbo dogs from back in the day? Yeah. It's like a 2000s like vibe, you know, she's still giving you bodies. 
bodice in it, it's a top. Next up, Aura Mayari. Yes, this is sickening. I love the headpiece. I love the, it's giving much, um, who is giving me? Moo Glare. It's giving like Moo Glare. It's giving something. Yeah. But it's nasty though, Aura. Like a green splash. Come on, Aura. It's like a green splash. Yes. Yeah. She looks like Sasha Kobe for a second. <laughs> top. top. Next up, we got Lucy DeLuca. With another top. Okay, give you body. Yes. She gonna always give you body, y'all. Give you body, fit, and... I don't like the hair with this, though. Like, it's too little. I don't bitch, mind your hair. hair. It should have been down your back, bitch. Just swinging. You know? I don't mind it. But this is like a sexy, like, super... The, the, hair, you know? the hair looks robotic, like the outfit. So it matches. It ain't me. big enough, though. Yeah, I like it. But it's at the top. Next up, we so got we Jax. got Jax giving a play on Jax from Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um, it's a chop for me. <laughs> but what do you think? Um, it's definitely a chop because just by looking at the arms itself, like which they look plastic as fuck. Like you could at least like spray painted them holes chrome to me. Hey, Shined them with some oil or something and came down the stage, bitch, looking buff as fuck. Like, you could have gave us all that, but you did not. It looked like you got these from Party City. Um, and then, you know, I don't know. I don't really like the outfit. It's giving me, like, you know, Soldier 2000s. <laughs> it's giving me, like, Army. That's it. I want a soldier. It ain't giving me Metallic. It's, it's a chop, though, army. sis. It is. Compared to everybody else's other Metallic fits I just saw, it just doesn't stand. No tea, no shade, for no me. pink lemonade. For me. Hello. For us. Well, for us. Next up, we got Robin Fierce. Looking like, ugh, I just can't. Let's unsee it. She look good to me. I love the hair. Um, I love the, you know, the little play with the, I guess maybe she's trying to be a um, woman king. <laughs> not much metallic there really in that, I guess, well. She look just oh, no, like um, Glorilla a little bit, huh? It's like a little mama right there. Put nigga free up, F R N E E E E E. But yeah, she do like give me Glorilla, but the outfit is it's cute, you know? I like, I'm a top it. Yeah, I'm a top it, ain't nothing special. She look bad. Yeah. Next up, we got Mistress Isabel Brooks. It's a top for me. It's always gonna be a top for Isabel Brooks. Yes, I love the show. It's so big. The shoulders are everything, y'all. Like they are. It's big Texas drag. The face is sickening. The body is there. Like she dragging the chain. I don't know why, but you know, <laughs> maybe she thinks she Aretha. <laughs> Chain, chain, chain. Ain't that a read to chain mm -hmm. of fools? Chain of fools. It's a top, right? Top. Yeah, yeah, okay. Next up. Which one is this? Sugar. Sugar. Sugar! <laughs> Hell, it's the same thing with different colors. But, you know, she coming out giving you same, similar to her sister, but in hot pink, pussy pink. Um, give you 2000s with her my Britney Spears microphone on. Top. It's a top. It's cute. I love these boots though. Yes, guys. Is those, are those boots? Yeah. Okay. Top, sis. Next up, we got Malaysia Baby yeah. Down Fox. Oh, I said Brooks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, this is cute too, you know, she's always gonna give you like pretty woman walking down the street But uh, yeah, it looks expensive. She it looks, looks amazing. Expensive. I love it. I love the cones on her head She you hasn't know? gave me one bad outfit yet in the competition. Not at I'm all. I'm enjoying Malaysia's look. Top Malaysia. Top. Most definitely. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all the iconic T.S. Madison is on the panel today, y'all. Look at ever so fierce. She is judging. Okay. I love Tiz Madison so much. I've been following Tiz Madison like since freaking like way back when, like 2009, y'all. And like to see her like as a, a revolving judge on here, like this is like, I was like almost in tears when I saw this. So congratulations to Tiz Madison once again for this gig you got. Like, bitch, only way to go is up from here. Like, yeah. Shout out to Tiz Madison. Okay. I'm so proud of her. She did that. But yeah, who's your favorite look tonight? Oh wow, so many, 
so many great looks. <laughs> Is this hard to pick one? Um, I think I'm gonna go with. Um, I really like Amethyst. Let's go on. Amethyst. <laughs> that was your favorite look. Okay. Yeah, like I mean, maybe because it's the hair, the outfit. You know, it just gagged me. Hmm. But nah, uh, but Lux definitely for sure. Like she ate that up. She oh, did. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed Lux look. It was strong. Lux ate. You know, it she was, did. It was, um, it was strong. Yeah, she gave you that big old cape and you know that gold Metallica and all that. You know, it was good. Yeah. Um, I also like Lucy DeLuca's look. It was good. I like the Lucy DeLuca's look in the um in the challenge with that, you know, when she can I mean remember when the, in the challenge when she had the like pink it's like a hot pink skirt on or something. And her like waist was like way in, y'all. It was just like sucked <laughs> in. But I really like that outfit that she had on. Um, Do we need to talk about that? Huh? We about to. Selena Gomez on here too, y'all. We forgot to mention her, right? No. What's her name? <laughs> she look like Selena Gomez. I can't think of this woman name, y'all. I'm gonna come back and let y'all know. But she reminds me so much of Selena Gomez. But yeah, so. So after they did the wrong way or whatever, they talked about the uh, challenge. What's uh, her name? All Queens Go to Heaven. Marco Marx. Marie Morris. Hey, Marie Morris. I'm so sorry I messed your name up. Forgive us. Sorry to go ahead. So they did the <laughs> challenge. Uh, All Queens Go to Heaven. Mm -hmm. um, the first group to win up was Anitra's group. Yes. They were hilarious, mainly because of. Well, Sasha every, Kobe, everybody yes. did good, but Sasha Kobe kept doing the. <laughs> okay, that was the <laughs> funny part because it was like so unexpected and it was just so just like. It was funny every time she did it. Luck was very funny. She kept doing this little movement yeah. with her little bob one. It was a, uh, it was funny. The group, they, the group all worked well together. They RuPaul all, was screaming at the top of her lungs, laughing. So you already screaming, know, like, hollering. Like you already know that group, like. It's up there for sure. The other two groups, RuPaul didn't laugh not once. Not and one and time. Neither of them, and rightfully so, neither of them. Was it was funny. real confusing to them. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really get like I guess their concept. I didn't get their concept. But I didn't know what was happening with the other two groups. I, I mean, know. I had to definitely watch it a couple times to really like. Oh, that's what they was talking about. Oh, that's where they going. Oh, they in the club. Oh, they in the resort. Oh, this. Oh, that. Like it was really. I didn't know what had to do with heaven. But um, it was <laughs> it was their way of describing their heaven. Yeah, it was trash. But I like how the first group, like you know, at the end it was more so like Palm Palm Beach they they were in. It was fun. like it was heaven was the Palm Beach. The know? first group was it was well it was better executed. It was well thought out. True. It was better scripted. True. True. It was this had better footing, better plotting. True. The other two groups, they had nothing of a sense. It was nothing was happening, nothing was going on, nothing made sense at all for me. So yeah, um, if a group had to win, I I guess it would be group first one. Group, of course. But I guess we'll probably say everybody is being judged just individually. individually. So I wish it would at least been like group one. You are the winners of this week's challenge, but then individually. This who won, or right. this is better. Group you know? one won us. We, For sure. We know it. Y'all know it. Let's chop that in we're, the bag. We're gonna make that cannon. We're just gonna chop that in the bag, y'all. Group one won. And so, yeah. So, the winner of uh, this week challenge this goes to is Sasha Kobe. Right Sasha knew start. her win was coming up, baby. She like, yes, she get on my show with that. Stole Give her her things. Give her her things. She know what I'm saying? Yes. So um, yeah, she won. Uh, runner up was probably Lux. If I had to say it was a runner up, um, the yeah, bottom queens Lux. of this episode. Is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie, y'all surprised and shocked <laughs> at this one. Why well, was just with a bottom, with a bottom queen's gonna be Jax and Amethyst and uh, Princess Poppy. But the actual bottom queens are is Jax. No, Jax is not the bottom. Princess Poppy and Amethyst. Those are the bottoms. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Jax and um. Quit Maybe. coming from my girl Jax. Quit coming from Jax. She scripted the third. Jax is rightfully so safe. He was the leader. 
of the third of group three, and she led them the wrong fucking way. She did. Therefore, what she did? She is in the bottom. Lies, because mistress tell said, us in the comments. Mistress was like, who should be in the bottom? Mistress was like, Jax was the voice of reason, and she kept us together in the um, untucked. She, she led, did. She led them nowhere. Huh? She led them nowhere. Nothing was. No, she different. led herself nowhere. Nothing she led her group to safe, but she led herself to nowhere. Yeah. Because Rupanda didn't really remember anything she said. I don't remember nothing either. Get off my girl. Get off her. (laughs) (laughs) But no, but no Tino say I was gagged too that you know you know (laughs) Jack didn't go to the bottom. bottom. I was. I really was. When RuPaul said Amethyst, I was like, what? So the bottom of this episode is gonna be Amethyst again. Okay. And PP. And PP. Come on, PP. And they lip syncing to Diana Diana Ross. Ross. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. You know that song? That's what they were singing on. I don't know the song. (laughs) uh, (laughs) What's the name of that uh, football movie? Remember, we used to watch it back in the day. Y'all remember that football movie? I used to watch it. Remember, it was like about race. Remember when the teams was like divided up, but then they ended up coming together. I don't remember. Y'all know that movie. Name it down at the bottom. Oh my, it's so good. It's real emotional. But anyways, <laughs> let's get off into this lip sync with Diana Ross. Okay, so um, you know, uh, my sis um, Amethyst got her coat on, you know, swinging and slinging, like giving you she very much fight, Diana. Good. She got nice big hair, nice flowy movement. Yeah, she give you very much Diana. You know what I'm saying? Poppy looks sexy though, like yes God. Poppy is moving across the stage, giving you face, baby. Yes God, come on, Poppy. She moving. She coming. She trying to get in front of Poppy. I mean, Amethyst every second she can get. Amethyst look good. She, she got the better makeup. Um, but Poppy got Not the better makeup. No, naturally. I ain't gonna say that. Naturally, I ain't gonna say all that. <laughs> Hey sis, it's Amethyst. I ain't said that today. Did I? You oh, said okay. it now. <laughs> <laughs> so Princess yes. Poppy is going uh, she comedy. Go, oh, she going comedy. She opening up her legs. Now you know when it's running RuPaul's idol, she don't like that funny bullshit, that silly shit, okay? She wants you to perform her idol like the her, the performer would do. It can go either way for me, cause I think they both they they both not doing nothing amazing, but they both doing enough, you know what I mean? They to survive. Okay, now Poppy running to the back of the stage. Okay, she playing with the crowd like, yeah. I never seen nobody go back there and play with the crowd like that. I really. think she didn't work it. Really. This was the wrong song to do that on, but I think the next person to do that, they need to like... She lean into that comedy. Get into it. But, um, you know, Amethyst still at the front of the stage, you know, serenading the judges, giving it to them. She ain't letting, up, letting go. Oh shit, she busting it wide open. Hey. This a this an easy L right here. Oh, bust wide Ooh. open. Her legs cocked open. Her legs is cocked open. Ain't nothing open but legs. <laughs> <laughs> Child. And the winner is. I mean, I'm gonna say Poppy. Princess Poppy lost. Amethyst won. RuPaul saw it otherwise. Congratulations, though. Amethyst. You Wait still a minute. in this competition. Listen, Amethyst, they gonna keep you around till you fix this nose, bitch. Okay? As soon as you fix this contour on your nose and get it right, then they gonna send you packing, all right? So don't never fix that contour. Whatever <laughs> it is on. But hey, sis, it's Amethyst. You done made it, girl. You done live to fight another day. So Princess Poppy got eliminated. She is sashaying her ass away. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm gonna miss Poppy. That was the episode. I'm going to miss that nude face. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations, Poppy. You know what I'm saying? You made it, you know, your second one out. But that's cool. You a rude girl now. So I'm hey, sure we're going to see you everywhere. See you at DragCon. Okay, because she's a sickening queen. But um, yeah, how'd you like this episode? I enjoyed it. It was a great time. It was pretty good. It was pretty great. You know, if y'all liked it, let us know in the comments. Uh, and tell us how you feel about this episode. It's a lot of girls. A whole lot. We got 14 more left. All right. 14 more left. And next week, child, it is Snatch Gang. Can All right. It? It's going to be a big Snatch Gang, y'all. So let's get. That's crazy. Ready for it. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, but anyways, we enjoyed y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all share this video for us, y'all. Um, share it with your mama, your daddy, and your bald headed granny. Share it on Reddit, share it on Facebook, share it on Jack, share it on Grinder, whatever app you use, bitch. Share this video with all the peoples out there, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yes, all that shit. Yes, yeah, share it or whatever. Yeah. Hornet. And make sure y'all be back here next week, same time, all right? Thank y'all so much for watching. All right, so remember to do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much. Deuces. Bye.